Aris Commander 2015 is getting even smarter thanks to the tools that allow us to assign parameters to parts of the drawing or the drawing in general. In this example, we have a mechanical part containing various constraints which are assigned to different elements of the drawing. By changing this value or this value, you can change the drawing. The constraint we have here allows us to determine the position or shape of an object, and even how objects relate to one another, because RS Commander 2015 is the smartest version that exists so far. Look at this example. When you edit this value and press Enter, the whole drawing changes. Now we can change this one. In this other example, we can see how a mechanical part can be composed of many constraints. Among the available tools, we have the option to hide all constraint icons. In this case, the mechanical part has been cleaned. But the constraints are still there. When selecting an item, you can see the constraint assigned to it. Selecting all, we see all constraints again. If we go here, we see the value of the radius is 60 units. Let's change it. We added its size by dragging this grip. We can see that the entire appearance has changed, since all its components are related to this parameter, which is the modified diameter value. By changing the radius, we have changed the position of the circle. This also affects the position of the teeth. Now let's see a different example of how to work with constraints. For example, we can draw a circle and assign a constraint to the diameter. We for example assign the value 5. When we try to modify this circle, it is not possible, because we assigned a specific constraint to the diameter, which determines its shape. Note that the value appears locked. To change it, we have to select the constraint that conditions the diameter and the grips belonging to this constraint. Like this, yes, we can modify the diameter. Here we have the parameters tool with which we can control the constraint. For example, we can type a new value. In another example, we have a circle and two lines. Now, thanks to the constraint, we can do two things. We first can assign a constraint to the diameter or radius of the circle. Then we can assign a tangent constraint to the lines. To do this, first select the item that should remain fixed in place. First select the circle and then the line. Notice that the constraint icon appears. Repeat the process with the lines. By selecting parameters, we can change the radius of the circle, for example 3.5. In another example, we have a polyline. Here we can assign constraints to the angles. Let's select the first two sections. We see it has an angle of 38 degrees. We change it to a new value, for example 40. Now we can define other constraints between these two sections and assign a value, for example 60. Next, we move the grips of the polyline. We see that the image changes always with respect to the constraints specified in the angles.
In this new example, we have two rectangles. We can add a distance constraint to the separation between them. Select the constraint, then the elements. We can vary the distance value. When doing so, the locked icon appears, and we see the distance constraint to the separation. When you move one of the rectangles, the side of the other rectangle will also move to maintain the distance condition, although the rectangle deforms. If we want the whole rectangle to move at once, we have to assign a constraint between the sides of the rectangle. For example, we generate a constraint to the right angle between two sides. Now try it. Move the rectangle and see that the other one follows without any deformation. A new example. We can create circles that remain concentric to each other. We therefore use this geometric constraint. When we select the circles, they stay concentric, which is maintained by the constraint. If we need to move the smallest circle, they all move with it, because they stay concentric. Now we can ask these lines to stay parallel to each other. After selecting the constraint, select the first line that will be the guide. In this example, we use the equality constraint that appears here. In this case, we have two lines. Select the first, select the second, and it will be the same length as the first one. But not only that, as there is an equality constraint between them, when we select one of these lines and extend it, it directly affects the other one. In the case of these arches, we create an equal radius. To do this, select one arch and then the other. The radius is equal. Now we can drag a grip of one arch. Change the radius and it will automatically affect the other arch. Finally, we can also create a dimensional constraint with this icon. Like this, we get a distance constraint for a dimension. To learn more about constraint, see the help by pressing F1. Thanks for listening, and don't miss our free trial of RS Commander 2015 on our website graber.com.